Prime Minister, this, um, this Kim.com affair is starting to look like a train wreck for your government um, with an increasing range of problems. You've asked the public to judge you on how, how precisely do you want them to judge you? Well, I'll leave that up to them. Well, how, and would that be in, expressed in the polls or the ballot boxes or letters to you? or like how do you, ex how do you expect them to express their judgment? Well, that's a matter for the New Zealand public. Prime Minister, there's been another security breach. Can the public trust the government department? Well, we take that breach um, very seriously. Uh, there'll be an independent inquiry. I think New Zealanders need to be able to feel very confident when they use uh, those, um, those uh, digital and electronic mechanisms for uh, accessing information. Uh, you know, the, the Chief Executive of the Ministry of Social Development has apologised. I think we need to understand exactly what's gone wrong and why, uh, and we'll be making sure that other government departments who have uh, essentially New Zealand or customer-facing services will also review those systems. Why does the public agency seem to have such a problem? Sorry, what's that? Why does the public agency seem to have such a problem with material on well, I can't answer the particular question about MSDs yet because it's just too early to know. We need that independent review. I think in terms of ACC, it looks to me to be something completely different. But what is true is that in certain government systems, they've been quite old, quite clunky. Um, we've been modernising and upgrading those. Um, in the case of this particular system, as you know, it was audited very recently uh, by one of the major audit firms. That's sort of standard practice, as I understand it, that our systems are audited. But clearly something's gone terribly wrong where the security protocols weren't applied properly and that's allowed someone to access um, private professional information. That's wrong. I mean, that's Are you going to sue the auditors? Do you take this more seriously than the ACC breach? I mean, in that case, it's one person's arguable error. Yeah. Um, opening a system up to all sorts of um, uh, security breaches. I think it's fair to say we take, uh, took both of them, take both issues seriously, but in the case of ACC, it looks more, much more likely um, human error. Um, this may be human error in terms of programming, uh, but nevertheless, it's, uh, you know, it's, quite, it's, it's a significant breach, so we need to understand what's going on here and why. Is so this is not an old system, this is a new system. True, it is quite and, and this is the way that many government agencies are going towards the digital interface, so how do we know this isn't going to keep happening? And so that was the point I was making. So we, we're going to speak to the Chief Information Officer, uh, Colin McDonald. We'll be asking him to deal with the department heads of all agencies that have uh, government uh, client facing systems. Uh, we'll be asking them to take a review of those systems and the security protocols. Uh, and obviously, uh, we work with uh, independent bodies that audit these systems on a regular basis as a general rule. That's run by the individual departments, but they, as a matter of course, as I understand it, generally get an independent review, and obviously those all firms will need to stand on their own record that they've done their job properly. Will that be a possible government department? Yes, the ones that have systems where uh, the public interface electronically with, with um, government systems. Is there a possible government that you would like to see in the future that would be more efficient than the current system? I'm hesitant to jump to conclusions about what went wrong because I don't think any of us understand this point, but I don't think that that is right. I mean, this is a, these kiosks that were put in uh, were put in because, in effect, it's a little bit um, akin to having an ATM machine um, in a bank you know, as opposed to going to a teller. You can electronically um, undertake the banking transactions. This was the same kind of concept. And so I think uh, it's not a matter of uh, staffing resources for back offices and what's Clearly, looks to be a problem here is around the way that computer system has been put together, and and what we don't understand is why there's been a security breach here, why their their um, security protocols which, have not operated properly. Which audit company was the? Which of the big four audit companies was involved? KPMG. So what what's their explanation thus far? Don't know. It's just far too early to tell. And again, I wouldn't want to jump to conclusions. All I know is there was an audit in February, but. You know, let's just wait and see when we get the full... After they were deployed. So how long have they been in the field and, and open to attack? Um, well, I think the, the, they've been around since 2010, these kiosks. Um, that audit particularly what took place in February of this year, as I understand it. I think they've rolled more out around the country, but you can start doing this. Do you think, Mr. Nargo, Do you think that was just close to getting attacked? 
well, I wouldn't have a clue, but what I can say is he's made some pretty wild and unsubstantiated claims since last Thursday. I've waived all of my legal rights. If he's got a clandestine tape, tape oh, sorry. you should feel free to um, go and release that tape. Uh, my view is it's time for him to put up a have you Have you released all the, people, the staff of GCSB from their legal rights in relation to anyone that might have been privy to or listened to this conversation? Because, as I understand it, they're contracted not to, to comment to us. Well, Mr Shearer has said uh, that there's a tape. He's also um, said there's witnesses. He said there's a tape and he said there's witnesses. OK. Mr Shearer has said that there's a tape. GCSB has made it quite clear there's never been a tape. Mr Shearer has said no, GCSB has um, destroyed a tape. That's an incredibly serious allegation. That's wrong. We've gone all the way back to the source um, data. We have now confirmed that there's been never been a deletion. You don't delete things in a spy agency. You archive them. There's never been a deletion, never been a tape. They've spoken to every camera operator, and they have um, looked at all of the logs. So if Mr Shearer's got a tape, well, the source has got a tape, it's a clandestine tape, he should feel free to release that tape. Oh, so He's making wild accusations that at the moment he can't substantiate. So he wants to play the tape and then have your response on it. So what is your position on that address that you gave um, the staff that day? Because you know, another thing, is it that you don't recall? Is it that you didn't do it? Uh, you didn't mention Kim.com? Well, I don't, recall, I don't recall mentioning Kim.com. Um, I know the director has asked some people that were there and they don't recall it. But look, it's, I speak off the cuff. You're talking, uh, you're asking me a question about a general sort of speech I gave to the staff eight months ago. Uh, so, you know, all I can say is I'm not the one making wild claims. That's Mr. Shearer. Wait a minute. If he wants you're, to you're saying, you're saying that this claim, you're, if he wants to substantiate that claim, this, the really simple way to do that is deliver the tape. Prime Minister, you're saying that these people are lying. Yeah. You didn't say it, and, but you're not prepared to say that you didn't actually say something about Kim.com. You're saying you don't recall saying something about Kim.com. You either did or you didn't. Andrew. Oh, uh, look, I, I can get an answer from my office. Um, I will have certainly had um, information from various agencies I deal with. Um, whether I can discuss those is a very different matter, but we're alive to that issue, but I, I think I'm too So you, you don't remember either of the information? <coughs> well, it's not a matter of remembering it. Um, I, I, they have raised issues or concerns about the well that you can recall? I just can't comment on those, those matters. I've been the public comments I've made before. If I can give you a list of when I might have had um, briefings on various issues, potentially, but as a general rule, I don't release those ones. We're going to pop up the show to find two journalists providing expert inquiries into the Kong mission. Yep. Which shows that one or two New Zealanders don't. Yeah, that's correct. But it also shows that half the country is concerned about half the Yeah. What do you make of the Well, what I'd say to you is that we've had a number of inquiries with that ongoing or concluded. And I think for the most part, New Zealanders accept that, uh, you know, what we've been saying, which is we look at this matter, we take it seriously. I think they accept that there's been human error there. We've apologised for that error. We've, we're we're uh, continuing to work through the process. I, I don't see any need for an independent inquiry myself. Did you watch the job? On the, um, the, yeah. the veteran package, yeah. did um, the government consider the issue of portability, especially for those um, New Zealanders who actually put their life on the line? To go to Australia. Look, I, I, or where is it? I, I, yeah, I'm assuming that was one of the recommendations from the Royal Commission. I can't ever recall us considering that matter. Um, the main issue is around the increase of 5% of the home services for um, the spouses. Why have you decided that the was a priority in the 16 and 19 of Yeah. We made some commitments in our manifesto. So in 2018 2011, we promised that we would address this issue as best we could. Um, these are very brave New Zealanders that have put their lives on the line in the defence of our country. And given the commitments we made, we've done everything we can within the financial constraints we face to try and honour their commitments. Because they have some intelligence, the American Committee making some pretty strong statements about Huawei, is the government going to give any consideration to the broadband network given those concerns that have been raised and their involvement? Well, I can't talk specifically about the Huawei issue, but what I can say is that we um, take very good advice and we take very seriously um, the, the issues of network security. Um, that's about all I can say. Um, we're not naive or blind to issues that might be there, um, but we take the, the step that we think appropriate 
and let the first every operator on the system. So you can already surely get under the fact there aren't going to be any security breaches through the national broadband network? Well, <coughs> you know, you can never say never, but what I can say is we take those issues extremely seriously. And I just simply make the point, I mean, Huawei operates in over 100 countries around the world. Prime Minister. About, about 18 months ago, um, the LIO initiated a report, uh, an investigation into the purchase of one of the Kamali Islands. Um, are you aware of this issue? The fact is that it's still one way while they haven't come to a conclusion? No, I'm not aware of it, I'm sorry. Prime, Prime Minister, in relation to the Kim.com affair, we, you, your position two weeks ago was that you hadn't heard about DCSB involvement until September the 17th. Correct. Yeah. We now know that there was, in fact, a PowerPoint on, on February the 29th. Correct. And we also know that some people are making allegations that you mentioned it at that meeting. We also I know that you've that. had nine meetings with the DCSB this year, at which you say you weren't talked about by Kim.com com at all of them until Correct. until recently. Correct. Did you give an instruction or did somebody else give an instruction for you not to be informed about this operation? Because it seems very odd. I mean, why were you not informed? Well, it might have seemed odd if you're a conspiracy theorist, but um, we actually have lots of things to talk about. Uh, you know, to clarify my, my position, make sure that you understand completely correctly. Um, uh, when I answered the question about the 17th of September, I believe that to be the genuine position. I cannot recall um, in that wider assessment that was given to me on the 29th, where there may have been a one-line passing uh, reference, I cannot recall that. But because I've seen the briefing note that said that they might use that as an example, and because I want to make sure I'm totally up front with the New Zealand public, I've, I've made sure that's in the public domain. We I'm not going to say I know things that I didn't know. Okay, that's great. I don't know that. So, so we, all, but we, also know, sorry, we also know that on the 20th of... Thanks very much. Catch you later on.